Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video. This is David Pendleton, and now I'm gonna cover the first six holes of the Big Top Tournament Pro Division. Congrats for making it this far. If you're watching, that must mean you have a round to play. Thanks for being patient with me, as I always try to do pro on day two, but recently I've been able to get some content out a day early. So I'm off to a good start. The reason that I stopped here is because I took a look at hole seven wind, and it has send it wind written all over it. So I'm going to try to come up with a shot that's going to get us to the green. So I figured I'm going to be spending some time on that hole, especially since I'm in contention to possibly win this. So I'm going to try to drive the green on hole number seven. So I figured I'd let you all get at least the first six holes done and then wait for me on that. The rest of pro will probably come out tomorrow morning um, at the latest as normal. But here we go. Let's go ahead and just get this thing going to hole number one now. With these replays here, I am going to show you a couple different ways to approach a few different holes. This first one is going to be with the Berserker. We're going to go full top. I'm sorry, we're going to go six bars at top, one bar a side spin to the left, and then of course we're looking to do to do the rough bump rollout here, and then take our shot at pin. Now, the thing that I don't like about using the Berserker here is the wind is going to be uh, pretty high. You know, obviously for pro, uh, it'll be pretty high on shot number two. And if we're not at absolute maximum distance of our inbringer, we're going to have to play a slider in order to get the ball to drop. You know, I really don't like having to do that in pro, but there's really no way around it on this hole unless you just get lucky and you adjust correctly. So we'll take a look at the drive here. This is fine on the drive. I hit a great left. It was still okay. This is going to leave us for shot number two. Shot number two, we're playing 40% elevation and I'm playing an 80% slider. I'm going with three, you know, like 3.7 bars of backspin up to four bars of backspin on this shot. Here I'm doing all four bars of backspin, half a ball of right side spin. And then after this, I'm gonna show you another shot which has been more consistent. So here, you know, I got a good little sticky spot right there on this bounce. But again, you know, I mean, here we're pulling, you know, like seven and a half or something like that rings. So it's just a high uh, ring pull, you know, here. And we do get it to barely get into the cup. Really probably didn't pull enough rings there at the end of the day, right? Now, if you have money balls, this is going to be a little bit better of a situation for you. Here we got the Megalodon ball, and this is a really good ball because you get wind resistance four. Also, it caps you at one bar of side spin, so it makes your setup really fast because we're going to go six top, one bar of side spin to the left. Same thing, we're going for the rough bump rollout. And that wind resistance four is really nice because here, you know, it's not like we need the tailwind on the drive. Uh, you know, if you have an extra mile eight or nine, you got six bars of top spin, you can easily make this drive. If you're playing at the lesser level extra mile, then, you know, you're going to have to go with some overpower to get the rough bump rollout. But you see here, we get the rollout. This is good. And then what I like about this is we're going to significantly reduce the wind on shot number two. And I'm at maximum distance of my club. So here I'm going to play this one 40% at absolute maximum distance. And you see here, I'm doing the same thing with the half a bar of, of side spin to the right. And then this time I went with like 3.7 bars of backspin. Again, the backspin is going to vary. You just want to make sure the ball guideline is going through the back of the cup. Now with this ball, I made two out of three shots, okay? I made one in practice. This one's dead center. I made one on this account, and then my other account with a perfect ball, I did miss. I was not at absolute maximum distance of my club. I tried to be cute and play it at maximum distance, and I did not make the shot. That's why I say shot number two is going to be slider dependent. But the good news is I mean, you're going to be between 80 and 100% of slider, right? So you've got some wiggle room there. It's not like you're going to have a crazy variance. You're going to be somewhere between, you know, 80 up to 100% of club. Obviously, 100% of club, we will play it at max. But so at least, you know, it gives you a thin margin of error, I would say. Hole number two, again, I'll show you two ways to play this one. So, you know, the rough bump, I just don't like it here. I'm going with the bounce over shot. And we have to go with the P1 ball. I tried to take this with the kingmaker. Um, and it just doesn't work out okay. 
So I can't remember what happened. I think I may be like, no, I don't remember what happened. But anyways, P1 ball is what we're playing with. Uh, here you're going to see five back, one bar of side spin to the right. And then we're going to take a look at the landing spot. Looks just like this. Ball guideline favoring the left-hand side of the cup. Gives you kind of a good reference point here. I'm pulling at 15% at max. And even with that, I'm still missed to the right-hand side. Now, I do have a hole in one to show you, though, on the next shot. So you see here, miss to the right-hand side about half a square. Now here, you know, I'm going to go with the wind resistance ball. Maybe that's why I did it, because I was trying to match a P1 ball. Okay. Well, either way, I went with one bar of side spin to the right. And as you can see here, I went with like 4.8 bars of backspin. Uh, due to the less wind, I'm not offsetting as much as we did on the first one. I'm still aiming at the left-hand side of the cup, but I'm aiming right at the left edge there. Uh, this shot does go in the hole, but um, again, this is one that I made in practice. And then when it came to the real deal, I missed it both times to the right-hand side. So a little bit frustrating. Not the easiest thing to duplicate, but you're very close. And then maybe you'll get lucky like I did here and drop the shot when it counts. But of course, I dropped this one in practice. You know, it comes in on the right-hand side of the hole. I think we need to just move our target over to the left a little bit, and maybe we'll be better off on hole number two. Okay, so move it over a hair to the left. Hole number three, I do pick up the, um, the albatross here. Now, you know, you can do this shot with an APOC 5. You can do this shot with an APOC 6. Um, keep in mind that, you know, the difference between an APOC 5 and an APOC 6 is going to be the top spin, but we are not utilizing that extra top spin. So we're we're playing an APOC 6, just like we would play an APOC 5. Here I'm going with, you know, a little bit over five bars of top spin. Let's just call it five and a half, three bars of side spin to the left. The reason why we're not going with more top spin is we don't want to catch too high of a wind to get pushed into the rough. Here we make our adjustment. If you're playing with an APOC 5 and an APOC 6, you're not going to have to push back up to max. You're going to take a normal shot like this. If you're playing with an APOC 4, then you're going to have to push your... You're going you're gonna to pull your rings at 10%, and then you're going to push back up to max. Now, is that confirmed? No, because I don't have an APOC 4. But, you know, that's going to make the most sense to me when you take a look at the less power. When you do the math from the plus yardage, you're going to have to push back up. Here, this is easy. We're going max curl to the left, and we're going um, with full overpower. And we are trying to hit perfect. I hit a very minor great left. That's going to be okay. It really works out just fine. It's not a big deal. Now, you see here, that with the power, I'm able to get up there. That's why I want, if you have an APOC 4, to push up. Because you see where I touch down at? You know, it, for me, plenty of room here, but it's still pretty close. So that's why I kind of figured lesser level club, push that back up to max and drive this ball home. Shot number two is 0% at max. We're going to play with full backspin, one bar of side spin to the left. Now, the weird thing about this is, is on my other account, um, I did the same setup spot, but I missed it to the right. And it really didn't make any sense to me, like at all. I, I don't understand. Maybe I hit a weird part of the green i'm not sure but let me show you where i'm aiming at because i think i did try to zoom in here so i could give you a good look yeah that's it right there it's not a zoom in but it's that pan right there okay so let's take a look at the cup the cup is basically you know splitting between the dark green and light green vertical rows i'm playing so you see the vertical, the light green vertical row. I'm playing to the dark green rows left of that. And then I'm playing up here in this dark green square. I hope you can see that. Now, I don't know how in the world on my other account I miss this one to the right. So here when I make my ring pull, I was missing to the right in rookie too, I think. So when I make my ring pull, I'm going to add like an itty bitty baby amount of curl to the left. So look at that. Um, see how I've got this little bit of left curl on there? It's not touching the blue part. You can see the grass blades between my ball and the blue adjustment zone. 
So maybe give that a try, but then this is even weirder, right? Because the ball comes down, comes down the slope, and look at this. Now it's barely going to drop into the hole. I'm going to take it all day. I'll take the albatross in the final round, but maybe that's when it was a little bit specific. But, you know, I try to give you as much detail as possible so you can try to duplicate these things and drop them as well. But we like that funnel on hole number three. Hole number four stinks. I mean, I've got this one just nailed in rookie. And, you know, I tried the rough bump here in pro. I can't get it to go down. I tried this shot here. I can't get it to go down. So, you know, I've just had enough of it. <laughs> but I'm going to – um, I'm really close, really close right here. If I could have just hit perfect on the real attempts, maybe it would have been something. But here we're going to go with half a bar of backspin, three bars of side spin to the right. And then I want you to take a look at the landing spot here. Look at the very end of my ball guideline, basically cutting that dark green square in half. And then we make our adjustment, which is one to one. And then here we do curl into the right side of the ball, touches the edge of the blue zone. And we get super duper close. Super, super close. But hopefully you can get that one to drop. That's tough. All right, hole number five. This one is weird too because, well, it's not weird. Um, I'm just disappointed that I didn't get an eagle on both my accounts. I picked up an eagle on this one. I hit a great drive on my other account, so it messed up the funnel shot. But this is the one we want to play right here. Four top, three bars of side spin to the right, pulling it 10% at max. Perfect ball, and we're good to go here. No, I'm sorry. I think I pulled this one 20%. I pulled it 20% because of the tailwind. My fault. And then that's going to leave us here with shot number two. And then shot number two, we're looking for that funnel. And the best way to find it is to go ahead and apply your side spin to the left and play higher up on this fairway, okay? Like right up here, you'll see. So one and a half to two bars of side spin to the left combined with a little bit of back spin. And then we're gonna move our target up here on this fairway part. And you'll see me wiggle my target around to make sure that I'm in that funnel. We do want to aim center of pin here. Here I was a little bit right to the pin, but you know we're going to pull it 10% at mid. This is 2.9 ring pull in this wind. Perfect ball. Like I said, I was aimed a little bit right at pin, and that was on accident, but the good news is the ball still went into the hole. So you know we're going to take that all day. And then we're going to move on here to hole number six. Um, here's what I'm going to tell you to do. Don't use this ball. I thought I was going to be cute and reduce the wind with the bubble ball. It does not help you on shot number two. Shot number two, we need that uh, three bars of side spin to the right. So um, if you've got yourself like a wind five or wind four ball, power three, four, five, side spin three, that's going to be the most ideal ball to play. If not, Use a kingmaker, but let's go with some overpower on the drive. Using a power four, power five ball, you don't really have to go with overpower because it's not going to give you an advantage. Um, but here, you know, I'm going with six bars of top spin. I'm going with no side spin. And then we're going to drive the ball up the fairway. Like I said, lesser powerful balls, of course you're going to need to use overpower. Okay, but here this is a normal shot. And keep in mind, I kept it at six bars of top spin. So if you have an extra mile eight, you know, you can duplicate this shot and you'll be good to go. Um, the thing that I don't like about this here is, like I said, we really need the three bars of side spin to make this shot work. So you're going to see me try to add curl to the shot to compensate for that. Because on my other account, like I couldn't get the ball to get back onto the green. It got stuck on the fringe. So I thought if I added some curl, that would help out. And it didn't. All right. Um, you know, I'm hoping you find the video helpful. I hope that if you're not a subscriber, you become one. You know, I'm sorry that I've been chopping up pro into holes like this, like one through six, but I didn't want to go to bed and not give you guys anything when I had some time to get it done. So let's get these six holes done. Go out there and hit perfect. Go out there and try to get these balls into the hole. And I think you're going to have a great start. 
Now, the thing about my start is I'm minus 11 on this account, okay, but I'm minus um, 8 on my other account. So zero drops on one account, three drops on this account. That just shows you the randomness of the game. Now, again, on my other account, like I said, hole one got the best of me without the slider. And then hole five, I messed up my drive, which caused me to to not get in the right part of the funnel for shot number two. So a couple mistakes on my end, but hopefully you pick these up. If you'd like to support my channel and um, show me some appreciation for my time and help me reload these kingmakers and these practice tokens I'm going through, that would be awesome. You can check out a, uh, the link to my PayPal below, and I'm truly grateful for anything that comes through. It does help me replenish everything that we have going on. All right, I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Go out there and let me know how you're doing. Thanks, everybody.